वेलकम बैक क्रिएटिंग मेल अकाउंट्स फॉर अदर यूजर्स इज इनक्रेडिबली सिंपल गो टू मेल एंड देन यूजर्स हियर एंटर डिजायर्ड ईमेल एड्रेस लेट्स से सपोर्ट एट द रेट डोमेन नेम एंटर पासवर्ड नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट टाइप ऑफ यूजर यू कैन सेलेक्ट आदर नॉर्मल यूजर और एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर प्लीज नोट एनी अदर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर विल हैव एग्जैक्टली सेम प्रिवलेज एज यू डू आफ्टर दैट क्लिक एड यूजर यू विल गेट कन्फर्मेशन डायलॉग बॉक्स From here you can set password or make any email address as administrator or you can archive any account if you want also you can remove admin privileges from any mail account if you want next if you want to test whether new user has been created or not just log out go to box dot domain name slash mail enter user name and after that enter password and you will able to log in successfully next if you want to forward emails to another email address go to aliases and then enter the email address you want to forward and after that enter the email address you want to forward to or in fact you can forward it to other mail address also like gmail or outlook after that click add alias you also have couple of options like catch all and domain alias catch all will catch all the mail sent to a domain name and forwards to a specific mail address mentioned in this box for example all the mail sent to this domain name will be forwarded to this mail address Okay let's test it I will uh, put some non existing mail address for example james at the rate and the subject and some message body after that click send now let's uh, go back to our forwarded address and see if we have received any mail or not as you could see we have just received a mail and it has been sent to this mail address this randomly chosen email address here you can see default aliases which exist in your mail server and the rule you added on your mail server and also if you go to catch all you are able to see the rules you have added to this mail server and the next thing is domain alias here you can put your domain name like at the rate all the mail coming to this domain name will be forwarded to some other domain name like at the rate if you have another website you can definitely put it in and after that you can click add alias see you in the next lecture welcome back in this video you will learn to add additional domain names to your mail server the first step is to go to your domain registrar control panel and after that change the name servers and your name server should be ns1.box. the domain name on which you have installed mail server in second one type ns2.box. your domain name 
and after that you can leave these fields blank and click on update name servers now I have successfully updated name servers go back to mail server control panel go to mail and then users and create your desired mail address on newly added domain name enter desired password and after that click add user it will automatically configure everything for you as you could see mail user has been added and few aliases have been also added and dns has been updated web has also been updated click ok if you look here you will find that your mail id with newly added domain name has been created let's go back to status check page and here as you could see that my new domain name has been added to this list and warnings is also being shown for example this SSL certificate so in order to remove this warning you have to add SSL certificate and you also have to set DNS seg record as I have discussed in previous lecture and again SSL certificate warning so this is how you add additional domain names to your mail server and obviously you can set custom DNS for this domain name as well all you need to go to mail custom DNS and after that select domain name and enter the IP address welcome back now we have mail server up and running you might be wondering how to create a website on this domain name for example my domain name is this and if I open it in browser I will see this is a mail in a box the answer to your question is here go to custom DNS and if you don't want to create subdomain I mean if you want to use your main domain then just leave this field blank and paste the IP address here you can get IP address of your server from your web hosting provider in my case my hosting provider is Google so I would like to copy this IP address and then paste it here and then after that click set record now DNS has been updated let's refresh this page in order to view the latest update on your website you might need to clear cookies and cache of your browser i'll quickly clear it and after that i'm gonna reload this page welcome back in this video you will learn to relay newsletters or emails via SMTP. Go to mail and then click on instructions. Here you will find SMTP settings. Your mail server is box dot your domain name. And your SMTP port is 587. SMTP security is TLS and your username is your whole email address and the password you chose if you have wordpress site then you can install any SMTP plugin to relay all the emails or newsletters via mail server just go to plugins and then click add new and search for SMTP you will get number of free plugins I am using WP Mail SMTP to relay all the mail from my WordPress website. Let's go to settings of WP Mail SMTP. Enter your mail ID here and after that your name. Then you can select any option as per your requirement. 
then in SMTP host, enter your settings, your mail server, box dot your domain name, and then SMTP port 587. Use TLS encryption, and for authentication, yes, SMTP authentication. Your username is your email address, and the password you chose. After that, click Save Changes. Let's send a test mail. I will enter my email address here and then after that, click Send Test. As you could see, test message has been sent and the result was true. Let me open my Gmail account to check whether mail has been received or not. As you could see, mail has been successfully sent to me. Similar settings you can do for other sites as well. Thank you.